Let no one deceive you or make you believe that God uses sicknesses and diseases to train and discipline his own children. That's a lie of the devil. That's a lie from the pit of hell. I've shown you whatever hurts you hurts the father. Whatever brings pains into your body pains the father. The Lord wants you recovered. Are you following what you are sharing now? If somebody says God is using sickness to train you so that I can become humble, why do you go to the hospital? You need to remain in the humility and enjoy it. Become so humble because God is using it to humble you. Be careful who you listen to. Be careful what you digest into your spirit. God does not use sickness and diseases to train his own child or to discipline them. That's why I'm showing you carefully from scriptures, the thought and mind of the father when his own children is being afflicted with sickness and diseases. Write this statement down. Sickness, sicknesses are works of the devil. They are not from God. Sicknesses are works of the devil. They are not from God. Sicknesses are fashioned by Satan to hold people in bondage and ultimately destroy their life. So if you are a Christian that has been convinced that you have come to believe that when you find yourself being afflicted with sickness and diseases, God wants you to humble, God wants to make you humble, He wants to use you eventually. After you have been humbled, then you have been deceived into a space and brought into a space of destruction. Stop romancing with the devil and thinking you are having a good day. It's a deception. He has a mission. When he holds you bound, he's the one that holds people bound in addiction. He's shooting your flesh. You are going in the wrong direction. You are playing the game of Satan. He has a mission to eventually kill and destroy. But I pray for each of you present in church and watching online. Your life will not be destroyed. Amen. I say your life will not be destroyed. Amen. Satan will not succeed to destroy your destiny. Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So if you are born again, from the day you make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, have this understanding. Satan has no legal rights. He has no legal right to hold you bound in sickness or diseases. This is one of the things God expects you to allow to dominate the way you think. Don't say, well, that sickness is affecting everybody because of the weather condition. A thousand times, no. You carry a different atmosphere. You live in a different atmosphere. The Bible says in him you live. In him you move. In him you have your being. So when you come into Christ, you have a different atmosphere. What is, called, what is destroying the people of the world has no permission, has no right to affect you. But if you are not aware and walk in the same consciousness of it, are you following what you're sharing? You suffer like the Egyptians.